Hi, this is Jason from the QuickBooks team. You can use intercompany transactions in QuickBooks Desktop Enterprise to record transactions made by one company that also affect another company you keep the books for. To use this feature, it's important that each related company has a separate company file. Let's go through how to set up a relationship between multiple companies and then record a purchase a company made for another company. First, create a relationship between your companies. Select Intercompany Transactions. If you're not logged into your Intuit account, enter your username and password. Then select Create a Relationship. Then select Continue. QuickBooks displays a list of company files you're a user in. Select the company you want to create a relationship with and select Continue. Next, choose two accounts QuickBooks will use when you enter a transaction that relates to the other company. The Do From account tracks how much money the other company owes the company you're assigned into, and Do To tracks how much this company owes to the other company. For the Do From account, it's recommended you choose or set up an asset and name it so it's clear it relates to the other company. For the Do To account, it's recommended you choose or set up a liability and also name it so it relates to the other company. Select Send Request and then OK. The relationship is pending and you won't be able to record any intercompany transactions related to them until the other company approves the relationship. Select File, Close Company. Then select the other company file, open it, and log in. Select Intercompany Transactions. The Relationships tab shows you which relationships are pending approval, as well as any rejected, approved, or requested relationships. Here's the company that requested a relationship earlier. Under Action, you can reject or approve. Approve the request. Next, choose two accounts QuickBooks will use when you enter a transaction that relates to the other company. Remember, it's recommended to set up an asset and a liability with the other company's name in the title. Then select Approve Relationship and select OK. Select the Approved box. And now you can see any companies with approved relationships to this company. Select Create a Relationship to request relationships with any other companies. This company purchased some materials for the other company. Let's record that. Select Write Checks and select Intercompany Transactions. QuickBooks warns you that you must limit your transaction to one line. Select OK. Enter the payee, date, and other information like you would on any other transaction. Select the company drop-down arrow and select the company you made the purchase for. Since you bought something for the other company, use the Do From account, which is an asset. Then enter the dollar value of the purchase and any other relevant information. Select Save and Close. While the transaction is pending approval, it does not affect any of your account balances. Select Intercompany Transactions, and on the Transaction tab, select Sent for Approval to see any pending transactions. Let's switch back to the other company to see everything from their point of view. Select Intercompany Transactions, then select the Transactions tab and pending my approval. Here's the transaction the other company recorded. Before you can approve the transaction, you have to choose an expense account. This transaction was for job materials. Select Approve. QuickBooks creates a journal entry in this company and makes the transaction you recorded earlier posting so that it affects your accounts. Select OK. Let's take a look at what the transaction did. Select the chart of accounts. Here's the due to liability account. The transaction increased what this company owes the other company. 
select Reports, Company and Financial, Profit and Loss Standard. And here's the job material expense. Now you're ready to use intercompany transactions to speed up your work in multiple companies.